Good Friday morning to you. It's been interesting because in the central part of the state, we have been dealing with snow and ice and uh, down power lines and blocked roads and driveways you can't get it out of and, uh, and ice falling off of trees and power lines hitting your windshield. And so you have to learn to deal with small crisis as you go from point A to point B. Whether you're going to the grocery store or to, to the pharmacy or to church or what have you. And so you, you have to be a little bit cautious about everywhere you go. And you have to think ahead. And when you start living life on the simplistic journeys, it, it you, you, you can only think of safety. And when you start thinking about safety, you cannot think about the joy that wells up inside of you. You're, you're living in fear. <clears throat> rather than enjoy, and you have to live in fear because you have to be cautious about everything you're seeing and going and doing in every walk of life, whether you're walking outside or you're going to slip on ice. Your car, you're going to slip into a ditch. Um, and then even when you're in, car, in the car, you worry about heavy limbs falling on you. Uh, it's interesting how the different aspects of life, when circumstances around you change, it changes your whole countenance until this passes. In Romans, Paul was writing to the church at Rome. And looking at the fifth chapter, he entitles what he writes. He says, faith brings joy. In verse 1, it says, And therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith. Now, what Paul is saying is, we have not made ourselves right. Although we can do certain things and make certain positive decisions. Ultimately, life itself, our perspective, our destination, uh, our work, our vocation, our recreation, everything has to be tempered with the environment in which it's done in. Have you ever been to a ball game and it starts pouring down rain? Have you ever gone to a football game when it was 25 degrees? Years ago, we went to the University of Richmond when they played Eastern Kentucky in the NCAA playoffs. It was so bitterly cold. But it didn't make us go home. No. We stayed to the bitter end, and Richmond lost in the last minute. Paul was writing to the church in Rome. He says, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. We have made the commitment that with Jesus that all things are righteous and that we find joy. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of unserved privileges where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. It says we joyfully and confidently look forward to sharing. Even when our team lost at the University of Richmond, we went home because we lost the game. But let me share with you what Jesus, what Jesus is saying in what Paul has said in the revelation of Jesus. He says, even though your day may end with the greatest sense of disillusionment and sadness, we still have the confidence and the joy that our Lord Christ never leaves us or forsakes us. And that we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. As we walk in this Friday, I want you to walk with the glory and the confidence of knowing that we are not perfect people. We're far from it. But it is through the presence of God that he gives us the strength, the vision, the ability to hear and to speak and to show the countenance of his love. Pray with me. Father, we, walking in this Friday, we look forward to your grace. Help us to realize that it is joy that is bound in faith that gives us the assuredness of being your children. Thank you for loving us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I want you to walk in this Friday with confidence and joy regardless of what the day brings, regardless of what issues you may have to face as you go from point A to point B, because right now 
you will probably, some of you will have had three to five inches of new snow and you'll have to rethink about being careful everywhere you go. But don't let that circumstance rob you of the joy of what God has for you in this day. I'll see you Monday. God bless you.